So now we're going to do a demonstration on how to make uh, drawing sheets in Onshape. So at this point you should have at minimum a model done, but I would recommend even uh, having your, in this case, um, assembly completed as well. Um, that way you can make all of the drawing sheets right away instead of um, making them individually one at a time. So um, again, you need to at least have the model that you're going to make a particular sheet of finished, or um, in the case of the Puzzle Cube project, I would have your assembly completed at this point. So to get started doing drawing sheets, you're going to come down here, and if you have a drawing sheet already started, it will show up here as one of these uh, tabs. I don't have one yet in this file, so I'm going to come down here and hit the plus for the insert new element. And then I'm going to come up here, I'm going to choose create drawing. And you can just uh, stick with the default right here. Um, you uh, really, I would just stick with the default, hit OK, and you should be good to go. So once this loads up, and sometimes this takes a little bit of time, uh, for some reason it seems like the drawing sheets take a little bit longer to load than most things. And you can see that um, what it typically does is it's going to start with your current document. So whatever you're working on, it's going to assume that you want to make a drawing sheet of that. If that's not the case, you can click on other documents and you can navigate like normal through my on shape and go through your folders. You can also do uh, recently open and it's just going to show you the order that you recently have been um, working on stuff. So I am going to go and I'm going to choose, let's see here, I'm going to choose part one. And I'm going to create a version of this part and just hit create. And then I'm going to choose part one. So when you do this, um, up here you can change what the view orientation is. You want to, regardless of what it actually says for front view here, you do want to bring in what you picture as the front view of your object. So in the case of the puzzle cube parts, that is already done for you. Just make sure that you are placing the views the same way that I have in the drawing sheets that I provided in the activity. So I'm going to um, stick with the front view because that is correct for this one. And I'm going to left click it in place. And after you click that view, it allows you to put a second view in place. I can come up here and click the top view. I can come over here and click the right side view. I'm just going to do the top view at the moment. After you click that second view in place, you can see that it kind of goes away over here. Um, so it only allows you to put two uh, views in to start. But if I want to put a right side view in, you can see that it's highlighting the view. I can project another view off of either of these. I want to project off of the front view. So I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to drag to the right, and I'm going to place a right view right here. All right. So now I have my front, top, and right side view in, which for this project and these drawing sheets is typically what you'll be doing for all of your parts. As far as uh, if you want to make any uh, changes to exactly where their location is, um, right now it wants to select views still to project more views off of and you can see that this button up here is highlighted. That automatically gets highlighted after you have inserted your original views. Um, but if you ever want to make another projected view, you simply come up here and click on projected view, then click on the view that you want to project from, and then project off of it. But since I don't want to project anymore, I'm going to hit escape. And now I can come in here and I can click on this front view, click and hold, and I can drag and move this. So if I want to move it around, I can put it over here. And this is considered the parent view, which means that the other two views that are on here are kind of like tied to or constrained to this view. So if I move this one, you'll see that the other views kind of get aligned with it because the top view always needs, direct, needs to be directly above the front view. And the right side view always has to be directly to the right of the front view. Um, if you want to add an isometric view, you're going to come back up here and hit insert view. And I'm still on part one, which I want to keep. For view orientation, I'm going to change this now and I'm going to choose isometric, 
One thing that I don't like about Onshape is I can't choose which isometric view. So if you didn't orient your original top view with the top plane, this isometric view isn't going to quite be right. But for our purposes here, it'll still be okay. This isometric that I'm showing you right now is correct for the views that I have. One thing that I always like to do with isometric views is I like to change the scale to a smaller size so that the isometric view does not dominate the entire drawing because ultimately what's most important in a drawing or plan sheet is the multi-view drawings and the dimensions. The isometric is just there to look nice and give a presentation of what the finished model looks like. But as far as making the part goes, which is mainly what these plans are for, you don't really need an isometric view. Okay. So now I have all my views in and I'm going to come up here and I am going to click on this dimension button and I can start placing dimensions. For anyone that has used Inventor and you place dimensions before, this works exactly the same way. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways here quick. So I can dimension this entire line. So if I highlight that line, I can click and then drag down and I want to get that dimension kind of centered in there and then I'm going to click it into place. I can also click from point to point. So I'm going to choose this corner here and this corner here and I'm going to bring that up, click it into place. And you can also do that if you don't, uh, and really when you have uh, two points that are horizontal or vertical to each other, a lot of times you can just click the line. But when you have an uneven surface, so if I want to do the height of this object in this view right here, I can click this point, and then again at this point, and I can drag that out and place that dimension here. All right. Now I'm not going to dimension this entire sheet because you have exactly what dimensions you should have on this sheet in front of you if you are looking at the plans that are on the instruction page. Remember when you are dimensioning, do not be redundant with dimensions, but make sure that you dimension every feature entirely. So what does that mean? It means that you need to pay attention to what you're actually looking at in a particular view. We have three views right here. Every object has three dimensions. What you need to remember is every dimension exists in two of those views. So all of my depth dimensions are in the top view and the right side view. So this dimension right here, this 0.75, if I click it, that 0.75 right here is the same 0.75 that I could get right here. So which view do you put it in? You always put it in the view that shows the most accurate shape description, which would be this view right here. This 1.5 inches of height, it exists in this view. It also exists in this view. This dimension really doesn't matter which view you put it in because it is, it, it's just as accurate in either of them. Same thing with this 2.25. So where you have a dimension that could go in either of two views, choose the view that it makes it the most readable and the least cluttered. All right. Um, this 0.75 right here is not the same 0.75 as this, even though they kind of look the same. This is looking at it from the front, so this is showing width. That would be showing this same dimension right here. So this is clearly the place that it is more clear to see what that dimension is actually showing. This 0.75 is the same as if we were dimensioning here. They happen to be the same dimension, they happen to look similar, but they are not the same, okay? So um, there are a couple other dimensions that you should have on this, but again, I will let you refer back to the drawing sheet. A couple of more things that I wanna show before I finish this demonstration. Um, when you have a set of drawing sheets or, or a uh, working set of drawings, which would be like for an entire product, not just this one part. So this right here that I have in front of me is just for part one we want a set of drawing sheets for the entire puzzle cube. So that means that the first page should actually have the assembled puzzle cube on it. So instead of making individual uh, sheets for each 
uh, part of the puzzle cube and then another one for the assembly, you want to make a set. So to do that, you can come over here and click on this Sheets button. And that opens up what looks like another project browser. And you can see that right now it just has Sheet 1 on here. I can add more sheets by simply clicking Insert Sheet. And I'm going to do that um, enough times for all the sheets that I want. So I actually want to have uh, six sheets total, one for each of the five parts, and then a sixth sheet, which would actually be the first sheet, for the assembly. So I'm going to click all of those into place. So now I have my sh six sheets. And, oh, I just remembered... Sheet 1 has part 1 on it, not my assembly, so I actually want to reorder these. So if you want to reorder your sheets, you can simply click on the sheet that you want to move, and you can drag it and place it. So now you can see Sheet 2 is actually the first page. So if I double-click Sheet 1, or I'm sorry, Sheet 2, and I come down here, that should say page 1 of 6 now. And even though Sheet 1 is the second one in here, it's still being labeled as Sheet 1. I can rename it if you don't like um, having your sheet numbers out of order, but it really doesn't matter um, what it says over here. What matters is that they're in order down here. Okay, so on this sheet two, which is now the first sheet in my set, I would be putting my assembly right here. Sheet one, in this case, the second sheet should have part one, and then sheet three should have part two. Sheet 4 should have part 3, sheet 5 should have part 4, and sheet 6 should have part 5. You can follow exactly what I uh, showed you for uh, part 1 as far as placing the views and doing dimensions for all of uh, your information. And I would like you to use the text tool and at least make sure that you put your name down in the title block of at least the first sheet. Um, we're not going to be real nitpicky on having uh, everything exactly in place. Like I said, what I'm looking for you to do here is essentially make a duplicate of what I have uh, given to you in the uh, instruction page. So that is it.